Well, even going back to the fourth round, Derbyuchenko, chip rounds. I think we are nearing some high drama. There's a left hook by Jermon Charlo. What a hard fought fight. Take a look at some of the action. There's that big uppercut. One, two, and then right over the top. And right here, I believe this is the right, right there. And then look at some of the action from the 12th. Look at that uppercut. Oh, the reach advantage clearly in the favor of Jamal Charlo, along with the height. It's showtime! By way of Nikolaev, Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former Olympian, Derevyanchenko. 22 wins coming by way of knockout, Jermal Charlo. It is the first of our two main events. Miguel, I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. Yeah, and some say that we'll head that fight against Triple G and some longer time frame to connect upon the target, but that is the complete. Well, the height difference, Charlo is fighting tall. Right hand is Derevyanchenko looking. Obviously, if you're Derevyanchenko, you can avoid that right hand. The muscle and how big his shoulders, how broad his shoulders are, able to recover. After being in war after war, your body almost has it locked and loaded to try to land him. Good right hand. combinations, extremely quick. Overhand right and cut off the ring, and that ends the first. Hands up, side to side here, move. What were you talking about? Oh, stay low, just like you do. Stay low. Yeah. 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 Make that mistake. I think it's a big yeah. loss. I think it's, these are two different yeah. Jamal Charlo. As the fight goes on, he starts yeah. to not use his leg. Get to see the game plan first and get adjusted as this fight goes on. How powerful he is, the way he uses his jab. That could be a concussive effect. There's a left hook fight to prove that ultimately he is the best middleweight in the world. He certainly is great. It's busier than we typically used to see in Jamal. There's a left hook that missed. And if you're Jamal Charlo, Daring Shanko, who can implement their game plan, a right hand low is because it makes it hard for Charlo to land. Can Charlo do the same to Sergey Daring Shanko? Work rate and the fact that he's busier than Daring Shanko. The second. And that could be maybe one of the weaknesses of the He gets that opportunity to showcase some of his brilliance. A lot more than what he's typically used to see in round two. Round against Sergei Derevyanchenko, and that ends. But many felt that Derevyanchenko won that fight. Round number three. Is that really a high-value puncher? Jamal Charlo, because Charlo uses his height well, and also... Charlo's the bigger guy. These are not like punches to score points. These are punches to knock down score And you're starting to see a little bit of a mouse. Main event. Derevyanchenko's really got to do a pitch for a job and do any way to get on the inside. He's got to get to the bottom. That was a key factor. I would give a slight edge to Jamal Charlo based on his work shot. Charlo is using that are playing a factor as he lands a right hand. The jab out there, just, you know, just the feeler, score some points. He actually rocked Julian Williams at 154 with a shot because that's eventually going to turn out. Also, even the so big right hand, he rocked it. Maintaining his distance during the proper moments. Darts. Fighter fights. You'll see guys just kind of tip throw it of Sergey Derevyanchenko. Just as Julian Williams, as you pointed out, those jabs are stiff. Charlo. And I think another issue that Derevyanchenko ran right by Derevyanchenko that landed. You mentioned that's a key factor in Derevyanchenko's game. Derevyanchenko! Derevyanchenko's hurt! A big right hand! Look at There's that right hand. Boom! On the button. Props to Derby and Chaco for just keeping his balance and not having on the right side of the temple, and down. then Charlo landed a left hook. He's feeling the problem. Uh, Andre Rosier, no, no. left hook that buckled. Down. What it's like to try to come from behind in a world title fight. He was coming forward and walking through 
everything he can do in this fight. And he's going to use Darius Kick as an example. And so far, he throws his punches. He's got surprisingly not pretty. It probably will knock him off. Derevchenko, and then he spins around, tries to land an uppercut. Now, the chin that Derevchenko has not to go down from either. We've seen him look really good before, but he's starting to look the best in his career. There's no more feeling out process anymore. We got to go because I got the sand, and I've been saying Charles a different breed. His the jab, and he doesn't do himself after a lot of shots that Derevchenko's taking. That is chin tested right now. A sharp right hand from you, and it's going to you know, mess up your face to a degree. And the uppercut by Charlo getting Ooh. through the defense of Derby and Chanko. Take here. a look Left at Left uppercut. It was overhand right and then over Dennis Hogan. For Derby yeah, I think a lot of people. Charlo, he's up for this big fight. Those guys just in the, the first third of the fight, so. We can't come out so durable that no matter what you hit them with, they're just going to keep coming forward. And this back off the ropes uses that jab. They see here's wrong thus far. How many guys have been able to do punches? That's what we're expecting. As you see, he's had less than inspiring efforts again. Chamberlain gets on the inside. He's not really panicking. He's not looking right now. He's proven everyone why he's the top guy. Flappable. And in the victory over Brandon Adams, in the end, even though Charlo won, people are starting to kind of dismiss Does Charlo a chopping right hand as Darius still has plenty of time to correct those mistakes, change up the side of the right eye of Dariachenko. So Charlo's starting to right now. Charlo is back on the ropes, uses a nice jab. Chenko left hook, followed by a right. Charlo even said that Kovarov should have gotten a better shape in that. But Dariachenko looks a little bit. He's Dariachenko. You know, you didn't see Jacobs do that, you didn't see Jacobs really start to turn the fight off. Keep him on that side. Bust up the face of the Ukrainian Olympian. But Jermaw Charlo looks fantastic here tonight. He's almost a fight with that. And he's right there, right there. We're headed towards the sixth. There's a body. You can't miss the body shots, maybe, okay? To begin from the fifth. Right there in the left hook, I think. But Andre Rosier with great instructions to Jeremy and Chanko. This corner of the tunnel, he said, oh, great, a couple shots right there. Right there. Watching them train last week in Houston for a world title. There's an overhand right that connected by Derek so far. It is Jermon Charlo using his jab. I like it. Jermon able to come upstairs. Going back to the jab is Jermon Charlo. What, what are you doing? And he said, oh, I'm not running. He goes, what are you doing running? I want you to. I mean, I have it a shot up. Maybe you can give one round of Derek and Jermon Charlo. But into the front. Hands free. Prevents really investing into the body work. Sergey Derinchenko knows he has his hands full. The fact that Ronnie has trained the likes of Pernell Whitaker and Van Yehoff above his right eye, and that could be problematic. Which is what his trainer, Andre Dozier, was looking for. Derinchenko says he seems to have just a little bit better. But Guinea, in order to see the most success when it comes to Derinchenko, and now Derinchenko bleeding. Up. But right now, Jermaw Charlo looks so well conducted. This is better for Derby and Chanko. Stand amongst those. He goes, Jermaw Charlo works so hard. And really has a big hit on that. Nice right to the body. We're done with the first half. Good round, sir. Nice and relaxed. We set. So if you get close, start shooting body shot first and then go to the uppercut. Face is getting busted up. His right eye outside of his right. We'll see if Charlo can. Derbyanchenko is breathing hard. Tell it is affecting the Ukrainian Olympian, attacking the body. Very solid defense against him because of how much energy he's expounding to try to. Is what Jamal Charlo has been able to do. He's snuck in and over on the eyelid, is, or on the eyebrows. 
gets to his feet. Your boxing ability, the power, well, even going back to the fourth round, Darianchenko was just keep it consistent. Once you the ropes, get off the ropes, because that's what Darianchenko has got to be able to cut off the ring, get on the inside, and attack the body. You know, as a fighter, especially like Jamal, as you see, it looks almost as if and that ends the seventh. The body when you look at that. Don't head on and throw the uppercut in the middle of it. That's getting on the inside, pushing up Jamal against the ropes. Jamal Charlo in total control. Me, I'm glad Derry Chico's willing to fight me, but I'm going to prove to everybody it goes to show that he has. And, and Chico came forward. Charlo covered up and now threw it. But Derry Chico really coming forward, trying to throw the swelling is going to impair the vision of Darian Chenko. Oh, Darian Chenko goes backwards. He was hurt. Now trouble going on the end. starts with the jab, and then he places that right hand. He's going to grow his confidence, but he gets tagged with the right. Weather the storm. Keep him at a distance. Continue best middleweight in the world. Nice right hand. A second final moment of the eight. Big right hand that buckled. Both eyes swelling, both eyes cut. Be able to dictate where the fight's gonna go. He has it near the end of the eighth. Oh my goodness, what? One, two, and then right over the top. And right here, I believe this is the right, right there. And that, and if you're Darian Chico, has got to cut off. There's a stiff jab. Well, you know what? Darian Chenko, there's a big right hand snapping back. Darian Chenko coming forward. He eats a couple of shots. Just over the halfway point. At this point, in the fight. In a heck of a fight. And he gets eaten up. You're gonna leave yourself open. Aaron Chico's eyes are swelling. He gets lit up. What an excellent fight here. And again, Aaron Chico's really too much. This guy is big right here. Everything they can trade for. There's a nice right uppercut by Ch Nice left hook by Darian Chenko. He is not easy to put away. Time! Let the one twos go and then come under with the sneezel. Round number 10. Overhand right by Charlotte. It wasn't until overhand. It's starting to give up some of that real estate, as you pointed out, Miguel. You mentioned this is a little bit closer than what we thought earlier in the fight. The coming forward, many of them were so surprised with how he fought Jeremy Chanko back him up. Charlo might be getting, he's starting to tire. Championship rounds, I think we are nearing some high drama. Make this a closer fight. There's a left hook. Because as we've seen in his last couple of fights, with Jimmy, even though Charlo still has that power, he's still connecting. Left hook. Jimmy's fights is he is a slow start. It's hard on Darian Chenko. Darian Chenko coming forward. <laughs> Continuing to use that jab. Chenko pick up the pace. This is what he has done. In Just incredible exchange. Hey, baby, don't shake his head. Guys, don't relax. I am. Yeah. So, every time you come in, shoot the right hand. Mm -hmm. The right hand is the punch. You can't see it. Darian Chenko's face. Just... And find a way to upset Jamal Charlo here tonight. In these final two rounds. Middle rounds, Gary Chico starting to come on and excel. The first of these two guys have been giving everything here tonight. That pressures him. There's a big right hand spray, Gary Chico. But back comes Gary Chico.
There's a left hook by Jermont Charlo in the 11. What we've seen for, but still, Derichenko, I think, has made it a close there. Right hand by Derichenko. Fantastic counter. And I think Charlo's trying to regain the momentum. To the 12th and final round we go. Brothers in the last one there. This, this is, is round 12. He can't got more grit than you. You the younger man. You the better man. To the right. So let's go to work. Let's go. Yeah, walk here. Take this. Oh, as we enter the 12th and final round. There's a chopping right hand. Right to the body by Charlotte. There we go. Look at them go toe to toe here in the 12th and final. Derby Chinkles on skates right now. Very good stuff between these two. Between. Just over the halfway mark of the 12. But Jermont Charlo, I believe, with what he was able to do. What a hard fought fight. And by Charlo. Nice shots. He's been busted up, but man, oh man, can he give a heck of a And there's Jerry Chanko, I think Charles. Jerry Chanko, Jerry Chanko answers back then, that's the fight. What? He was able to adapt after having, look at his left eye is almost shut. Look at some of the action from the 12. Look at that uppercut, oh, where that shot came in, and I think Jimmy Lennon. Judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. 117 to 111, and still, the WBC middleweight champion. He remains perfect in his professional career.